Hello, it is Topical Tuesday, July 21st, 2020. Steve Cypress here, and I was so rudely interrupted. Last Topical Tuesday, when I was going to talk about the recent news that is now practically forgotten in the world of Trump derangement, where everything he does, the world is ending for about a day or two, and then everyone forgets whatever the whole hullabaloo was, and they move on to, oh, but now, I can't believe what he did now. He's the worst. He's unfit. He's terrible. He's evil. We got to get him out of there, blah, 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 blah. So I looked into my notes, and it said, oh, the Roger Stone part, and I'm like, when was that? People, we don't even remember that anymore, but that was going to be my lesson, my topical Tuesday uh, talk a week ago until uh, just before I was going to press record and I went on to Facebook to record this live video as I have done every day for a uh, little over almost three and a half years now at facebook.com slash small biz help and I went on and saw breaking news Kanye West has dropped out of the presidential race and then I don't know was it a day or two later he was back in the presidential race and I saw some clip of him doing a rally and going crazy the other day. And like, wow, could the political circus here in the U.S. get any more fun than it is? I predict as long as Kanye especially stays in, it's going to be fantastic. And man, wouldn't it be great to see him up on a debate stage? Uh, I mean, seriously, even though he says all kinds of crazy things and goes nuts, uh, he would make Joe Biden look like someone of sound mind. Like, people would think Biden's brain is actually functioning properly because it would not understand. Of course, he slurs his words and can barely talk, but you can sort of understand it. But Kanye, just the concepts, you can barely understand them. It would be just so much fun. And so uh, I love the way people are describing Kanye. Uh, can you imagine that there is an eccentric celebrity slash billionaire entrepreneur who is uh, holding a rally off the cuff, no, nothing written, no prepared talk, and just riffing stream of consciousness on whatever he considers the issue of the day. I can't imagine that ever happened. That's never happened before, has it? But anyway, I digress. Today's Topical Tuesday is going back to 10 days ago. Again, in the world of Trump derangement, this is like forever. But Roger Stone, um, Pardon, commuted the sentence, whatever technicality, he gave a get-out-of-jail-free card to one of his cohorts and political operatives, one of the deepest swamp-dwelling creeps uh, that there is, which, of course, Trump hired, this Roger Stone uh, and this Paul Manafort, another swamp-dwelling creep, uh, to navigate the swamp. Once in a while, you got to kind of get a, a snake or an alligator to kind of get through the swamp, and so Trump once in a while has dipped into the actual swamp instead of draining it, and that's where he came up with this Roger Stone character, uh, who went through all kinds of whatever, and then on the verge of him going to prison, Trump commutes the sentence, and right on cue, all the entire anti-Trump world uh, 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 responds as if they're totally shocked and surprised, and this is outrageous, and no president has ever used the pardon powers like this before, except for the last one, the one before that, the one before that, the one before that, because there's nothing to see here, folks. That's the way the world works. Pe friends, people help their friends and their family. It's just the way it works. All business owners know this. I mean, I, I think all people know this, even the, the ones that are acting deranged, because it's amazing they're still not tired of acting deranged over everything, even when they know it's completely normal, like in this case. Uh, but business owners certainly know this, all business owners. Uh, tell me, if any kind of real business where you employ anyone, have you ever hired uh, a, a friend or, or, a, or a kid of a friend or a family member who's not really right for the job? They're not really a good fit, but you've helped them out? And so you've kind of uh, hurt your business a little bit or taken some money out of your pocket to do a favor for a friend or the son or daughter of a friend which is doing the favor for the friend. And you keep them on until, I mean, you help them get a job that's, that's better for them or you eventually have to let them go or whatever. But you did the favor. 
for a friend. That's just the way the world works. Every business owner knows that. Every business owner knows that, you know, if you're, you have a supplier, wants to wine and dine you. There's even a saying for it. They want to take you out to play golf and they want to wine and dine you and give you uh, uh, gifts to get your business. It's the way the world works because when you have a relationship with that vendor, you're more likely to buy from that vendor. And it's the same thing in our business. If we're looking to sell whatever our products or services are to total strangers, well, that's much tougher than selling them to somebody that we've cultivated a relationship with, uh, which is why I always talk about, hopefully you have decided as a business owner to do something you love, and therefore you will love your clients, your customers, your members, your patients. You'll love them, you'll build a relationship with them, and sometimes you'll let them off the hook, especially nowadays, uh, when they can't make a payment because they've, you know, their business has gone under because the government arbitrarily shut them down with some bogus authoritarian rule and you do them a little favor, or uh, they got laid off. Uh, similar reasons, businesses getting crapped on, people getting laid off because of it. So you give them a break on the rent or a break on their payments. Or rent. That's just the way the world works. Friends help friends and family members. Presidents use their presidential pardon power to pardon Clinton pardoned his brother. And, uh, you know, Obama, I mean, you couldn't even keep track. He pardoned like couple of thousand people or something. I mean, people, they don't pardon their enemies. And by the way, it works the other way. Uh, they pin medals. Uh, like Trump put a medal on Rush Limbaugh. You think Obama would have done that? Obama put a medal on the people he liked, the musicians and the athletes that he liked. I mean, that's just the way the world works. Okay, so take advantage. And you can fight it all you want and be deranged and get your panties in a bunch like all the anti-Trumpers over everything he does, or you can understand that that's just a fact and build some relationships and do some favors for people and get to know them so that if you ever need something, you know that you can go to somebody and they might do you a favor as well. That's just the way the world works. Nothing to get your panties in a bunch about, nothing to jump off a cliff and claim that Trump is Hitler and whatever other BS you love spewing all the time. Uh, I mean, he's obviously he's ridiculous. He's a politician. Uh, so he certainly, uh, you know, got that going against him. But as far as his pardon thing, uh, people act like that's something strange. It, I, I'll give you a uh, bottom line. I'll end it with this. If you really think that that's strange, that Trump helped out a friend, uh, then you are very likely to never operate a successful business. You just don't understand how business and how the world works. Works on relationships, long term. If you just want to gouge people and, and then move on to the next victim and run your business that way, then you can disregard everything I just said and you really should not ever be watching any of my videos because I just don't teach that. I don't like helping people that are out just for the short term and just to take advantage of people. I like people in things for the long term, and the long term means relationships. It means helping people out sometimes when they don't deserve it, just because you have a relationship with them and they're a friend. And if the world gets all upset and goes off the deep end about it, then you see, just like Trump, nothing bothers him at all that any of these anti-Trumpers are spewing all the time. If they did, he would have dropped out of the race Five years ago, he would have dropped out of the White House every single day. He wouldn't run for election, all that. But, you know, he's the, got the thickest skin of anyone you've ever seen in the White House. Uh, of course, he's an entrepreneur. And so he's tough. He can handle it. Hopefully you can, too. Maybe you'll never have that thick a skin as Trump. Maybe you'll never need to have that thick a skin, hopefully. But uh, hopefully you develop the thick skin that Scott Alexander talks about in his great book, Rhinoceros Success where he uh, likens the rhinoceros to the entrepreneur with that thick skin, charging towards the goal, living in the jungle with the ups and downs and the uncertainty of every day, something different, and you never know who's shooting torpedoes at you, and you just can't let it bother you. You just got to let it bounce off your two-inch thick skin and move on. So understand how the world works instead of complaining and getting all screwed up about it, will you? That's my wish for you on Topical Tuesday, July 21st, 2020. Thanks to everyone being here live. Thanks to everyone watching on the replay. And I will catch you back here tomorrow on World Wide Web Wednesday. I'm going to have a tip to help you make money using the good old internet. Catch you then. Over and out. Bye-bye.